Cooling systems play a crucial role in various applications, but not all cooling is the same. Two major categories, process cooling and comfort cooling, serve distinct purposes, operate under different design principles, and follow separate regulatory requirements. Understanding their differences and similarities is essential for HVAC engineers, mechanical contractors, and facility managers when designing and implementing cooling systems. What is process cooling? Process cooling refers to the removal of heat from industrial and manufacturing processes to maintain product quality, equipment efficiency, and operational safety. Unlike comfort cooling, which prioritizes human comfort, process cooling is primarily focused on cooling machinery, materials, and processes. Applications of process cooling. Manufacturing and industrial processes. Cooling in plastic injection molding, metalworking, and chemical production. Data centers. Preventing overheating of servers and networking equipment. Food and beverage industry. Refrigeration of perishable items during production and storage. Medical and pharmaceutical applications. Cooling MRI machines, laboratory equipment, and drug manufacturing processes. Power plants. Cooling turbines and condensers in thermal power generation. What is comfort cooling? Comfort cooling is designed to maintain a comfortable indoor temperature and humidity level for occupants in residential, commercial, and institutional buildings. This type of cooling is commonly associated with air conditioning, HVAC systems, in offices, homes, and public spaces. Applications of comfort cooling. Commercial buildings, office spaces, shopping malls and restaurants, residential buildings, apartments and single-family homes, healthcare facilities, hospitals, nursing homes, and clinics, educational institutions, schools, and universities. Similarities between process cooling and comfort cooling. Heat transfer principles. Both systems rely on heat transfer mechanisms such as conduction, convection, and phase change, evaporation and condensation, to remove heat from a space or process. Refrigeration cycles. Both use vapor compression or absorption refrigeration cycles for heat removal. Cooling equipment. Chillers, cooling towers, heat exchangers, and air handling units can be found in both applications, though their configurations may differ. Efficiency considerations. Both require efficient energy management and optimization for cost effectiveness and sustainability. Codes and standards. Governing process cooling versus comfort cooling. Both types of cooling systems must adhere to industry codes and standards, though their regulatory frameworks differ. Process cooling standards and regulations. ASHRAE 90.1, energy standard for buildings except low-rise residential buildings. Provides guidelines for energy efficiency in industrial processes. ASHRAE 15, safety standard for refrigeration systems. Governs refrigeration safety in process cooling applications. NFPA, National Fire Protection Association. Certain process cooling applications, e.g. chemical processing, require compliance with NFPA codes. OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Regulates workplace safety, including cooling systems in industrial settings. EPA, Environmental Protection Agency. Regulations. Includes refrigerant management requirements under the Clean Air Act. Comfort cooling standards and regulations. ASHRAE 55. Thermal environmental conditions for human occupancy. Specifies acceptable thermal conditions for human comfort. ASHRAE 62.1. Ventilation for acceptable indoor air quality. Regulates indoor air quality in comfort cooling applications. IECC. International Energy Conservation Code. Establishes energy efficiency requirements for HVAC systems in buildings. Title 24, California Energy Code. Mandates efficiency standards for air conditioning and comfort cooling. EPA Energy Star and LEED. Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. Encourage high efficiency comfort cooling systems. Energy and cooling load. Calculation differences. One of the most significant differences between process cooling and comfort cooling lies in how energy and cooling loads are calculated. Process cooling load calculations. Highly specific to the industrial application. Factors include heat generated by equipment, 
chemical reactions, material phase changes, and production schedules. Often calculated in tons of refrigeration, TR, or kilowatts, KW, with a focus on peak load scenarios. Redundancy and fail-safe cooling are often included in calculations to prevent process interruptions. Comfort cooling load calculations, typically based on building envelope characteristics, occupancy levels, lighting, and ventilation, uses manual J for residential and ASHRAE cooling load calculation method for commercial. Factors include solar heat gain, outdoor temperature variations, and human metabolic heat. Cooling load is calculated in British thermal units per hour or tons of refrigeration. Energy efficiency is often optimized for seasonal variations and part load performance. Regulatory submission requirements. The submission process for regulatory approval differs for process and comfort cooling systems. Process cooling regulatory submissions. One, industrial cooling projects often require environmental impact assessments. Two, OSHA compliance reports may be needed for workplace safety. 3. Specialized permits for hazardous materials, e.g. refrigerants in chemical processing. 4. Utility companies may require detailed power consumption reports. Comfort cooling regulatory submissions. 1. Building permits and mechanical system approval are required by local authorities. 2. Compliance with ASHRAE 90.1 IECC and other energy codes. Three, load calculations and equipment specifications are submitted for energy efficiency validation. Four, for large projects, sustainability certifications such as LEED documentation may be required. Summary, while process cooling and comfort cooling share some similarities in principles and equipment, they differ significantly in design objectives, regulatory requirements, and energy calculations. Engineers and contractors must consider these distinctions when designing, installing, and maintaining cooling systems to ensure compliance, efficiency, and reliability. Understanding the unique requirements of each cooling type helps in selecting the right equipment, optimizing energy use, and meeting industry standards for safety and performance. Whether cooling a manufacturing line or an office building, applying the correct design approach is critical to achieving the desired outcomes. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out our HVAC and plumbing estimating spreadsheets to streamline your construction bidding process. Check out our HVAC, electrical, and plumbing construction forms to help you run your business and explore our online courses for in-depth training.